Hi, I'm Alastair, and I'm a murderer. Alastair Cohen, I hereby find you guilty of murder on three counts. The sunflower you were supposed to grow at school, your mum's orchids when she went on holiday, and that strawberry plant you bought and left to rot. I didn't know, your honour. I didn't know! So, yep. I kill plants. I don't mean to, it just always ends up that way. I either water them too much or not enough, put them in places that are too sunny or too shady, use the wrong type of plant food, put them in the microwave, whatever it is, they always end up dying and I just have no idea what I'm doing wrong. If only there was some sort of technological solution that could help me. Oh wait, there is, and it's called Flower Power Man. Awesome. But why do I need that? So yeah, this is Flower Power and it's made by a company called Parrot who are the same people behind the drones and the headphones and the other Bluetoothy things. But this time they've turned their attention to plants. Sure. Why not? Essentially, it's a spike that you put into your plants that's packed full of sensors. It detects light conditions, moisture, fertilizer levels and temperature and sends you notifications to your phone if any of these things dip below optimum levels. Which is genius! No more dead plants! Because then I can just water them and leave them until flower power tells me I need to do something. As opposed to what I do now, which is water them, then forget about them for several weeks until they're basically so dry they're on the brink of death, and then I drown them. But Ali, not all plants need the same conditions to survive! I hear you shouting horticulturally. Well done you. Well, you're right, which is why it comes with a free app so you can tell it exactly which type of plant each spike is monitoring. For each spike you set up, you choose the type of plant from Parrot's plant database, and then it only sends you alerts if conditions are bad for that particular type of plant based on what they know about how it likes to grow. So pretty clever, but you may not be convinced. You may still be thinking, why do I need that in my life with all the stuff going on? Well, firstly, you need flower power because it makes you feel like you're in some sort of plant-based ER where you're saving lives one plant at a time. Okay, I'm here. How's he doing? <coughs> Vital signs? Nurse, get me two cc's of water. Stat! I will not let another one die, damn it. Not on my watch. Conversely, if you have a grudge against plants, then you can use the data to learn their weaknesses and slowly destroy them. I bet you don't even remember the allergy you gave me back in 93, do you? No. Well, I remember it well, and it changed my life forever. And now, you, you will suffer like I was made to suffer. <laughs> the real-time tracking can save you a trip outside. <sighs> what a wonderful day. I think I'll go outside and check on the plants. Oh no, wait, I live in England and outside is always a terrible place to be. Hmm. Yeah, they seem fine, so back to bed then, okay. And finally, the notification system can make you feel like after all those years of talking to your plants to try and help them grow, the plants are finally talking back. Oh, just got a message. Terry Tulip needs a drink. <laughs> Classic Terry. Now I'm testing these out on two plants I have, a mint plant I've dubbed Minty and Baz, the basil plant, to see if I can bring them back to life from the fairly terrible state that they're in now using flower power. I mean, what was I supposed to do? I couldn't just leave them to die. So really, buying flower power all stemmed from my desire to get to the root of the problem as to why I kept killing plants. And we shall see just how effective it actually is. If you want to get your hands on some flower powers, then don't worry if you haven't bought any yet. You can get them from a number of online stores, but I heard through the grapevine that buying from Apple tends to be the cheapest. That wasn't even intended to be a pun. I genuinely bought these from the Apple website, but if you do buy them and you you don't like them then I can only be held partially responsible. I hope you found this video blooming wonderful. If you did don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye! Beaches!